What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement walkthrough for the new tower level that was just added in Human Fall Flat. I'm going to walk you through the level and show you how to get all four of the new achievements. So starting off here, once you spawn into the level, we can head off to the right side, and we can actually sneak behind this barricade here by climbing up behind it, and then you can head through the little gap and slide down the hill. Once we get to the bottom here, head forward, and we need to push this trolley all the way to the back wall so we can use it to climb up, so go ahead and do that. Once you have that pushed all the way to the back, head to the left over here and pick up one of these crates and then bring that over to the right side of the trolley, and there's a little hill that we can climb up. So head up here, jump up the little steps, and make your way to the top, and then head on top of the trolley, and then you can place the box down next to this ledge here, and use the box to climb up. Once you're up top here, make your way around the platform and eventually you should see this hook here. We need to do a little run and jump, grab onto the hook and use that to swing across to the platform and then quickly let go and you should land over here. And once you're over here, we need to do a little jump and grab this lever here and that'll open up the gate. And then once you have the gate opened up, we can head it back over to the trolley and now we need to drag the trolley across the bridge and down into the lava. Alright, so once the trolley drops down into the lava here, you can drop down and use that as a platform and make your way across here over to the left side. And now we can get the out of the ordinary achievement for going fishing in the tower level. So go ahead and grab the fishing pole here and then just uh, fish off to the left side here. And eventually it takes a little while, but you'll catch a little blue ball on your rod and that's going to unlock the achievement. Again, you'll see an edit here. For some reason, my achievement took forever to pop. But once you catch that blue ball there on your rod, that should unlock the achievement. And then from there you can let go and we can continue making our way through the level. So turn around, head over here, and then eventually we can climb up top and follow this path. Head over to the left and climb up to the bridge. Make your way to the other side of the bridge here, and we can push the trolley all the way over to the other side of the wall, like we did last time. Once you have that pushed all the way back, let go and make your way up this hill on the right side. Use that to jump on top of the trolley, and once you're up here, grab the battery and then drop down and make your way down this hill here on the bottom right side. And down here, there will be a place where we can place the battery. So head down here. And then once you get down here, make your way up the staircase here. And then you can place the battery in the hole on the left side. And once you plug that in, we can make our way back to the bridge. So head back the way we came, make your way up the hill here. All right, once you're back on the bridge here, make your way to the other side. And if you plug the battery in correctly, the chains should be moving and we can ride the right chain up to the platform. So head all the way over here and then grab a hold of the chain. And once you get up to the platform, go ahead and let go. Once 
Once you're up here, make sure you let go of the chain and then you can head over to the ledge here and make your way around the platform. And once you get to the other side, you need to drop down to the platform here. And this is where we can get the time saver achievement for using the pipe to cross the lava. So head over to this valve here, go ahead and spin that. And that should activate the fan down below. And once you do that, you need to carefully drop down to the pipe here. So you're going to see I just jump. You can be a lot more careful if you want and kind of climb down the pipe instead of jumping. But whatever works, just make your way down to the pipe here and then traverse your way across the lava. And then we can use the fan on the other side to boost ourselves up to the platform. So head up here. Make sure it's not activated when you climb up or also to push you. So once it's not activated, climb up here and then turn around and you can look up. And we're going to launch all the way up to this platform here. And if you do that correctly, that should unlock the time saver achievement. And next up, you want to be careful in this next section here. We need to drop down to the little middle platform here. You're going to see an edit. I accidentally failed the jump, so ignore that. Just drop down to the little platform here. And once you're on the platform, we can find this broken fan here. Climb on the broken fan and make your way up top and then turn to the right side. And we can use this fan here to boost ourselves up to the door with the star above it. So wait for the fan to turn off and then jump onto the fan and that'll boost you up here. Once you're up here, make your way through the door and then walk across the platforms out here. It's pretty tricky, so try not to fall off. Once you make your way inside here, over on the right side, underneath the rubble, you can find a hidden battery. So go ahead and grab the rocks and the pipes or whatever and move those out of the way so you can get to the battery. Alright, once you grab the battery here, you can plug it into the wall over on the left side. Right inside here. Apologies for the edit, I can never get it in the hole. All right, and next up, we can get the foot in the door achievement for finding a shorter route for moving the batteries. So head over here and grab this big pipe and you need to drag it over to the doorway here. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it in the middle of the doorway. So that way when we remove the battery, the door doesn't close. So it's pretty heavy, but once you get it over here, just place it in front of the two doors. All right, and once you have that in place, head over here and grab the battery. And then we can take that through the door behind us and there's a place for it that we can place it back over here. So go ahead and place that inside of this machine here. All right, and once you have that place, go ahead and turn around and head back into the room that we were previously in. And inside here, we can go ahead and take the battery out of the wall that we placed earlier, and that should close the door. But if you successfully place the pipe in between the two doors, that should prevent it from fully shutting. And then from there, you can just throw the battery over and climb up. And then drop down over here, bring the battery with you. And now we need to parkour all the way across to the other side. Be careful not to fall into the lava, or you'll have to redo this section. But once you get all the way over to the other side, you can go ahead and plug the battery into the outlet. Go ahead and make your way outside here and we're gonna have to swing across the two chains out here and make our way to the bigger chain connecting with the pipe. Once you land on the chain here, turn to the left side and we can parkour our way over to the pipe tower and once we get over here, we can drop down to the platform below and you should automatically get a checkpoint and you can ignore that achievement there. So you want to head over to this platform here and you want to grab onto this spinny thing and that's going to bring us around to the next fan. So grab on, let that bring you around to the fan here and you can drop down onto the platform and then climb onto the fan and you can use that to launch yourself up the tower.
Once you're up here, move the box over to the right and use that to climb on top of the chain. And again, we're going to parkour our way across the chain over to the tower. Once you get to the tower, head around to the right side and make your way up these platforms and again, parkour your way across the next chain until you get to the fan and then we can use the fan to boost up to the top of the tower. Once you make your way up the tower here, we can turn to the right side, head through this arch, and the next battery will be directly in front of you. So head over there and retrieve that, and then we can place that in the outlet behind us. Once you have the battery, head back the way we came, and on the other side of this archway here, you'll find an outlet where you can place it. Head straight and make your way around this corner here and eventually you'll find a doorway that we can enter. Open up the door and head inside. Head inside here and we can do a little valve puzzle. So for the first two valves here, we're going to spin those until they're facing 6 o'clock. Basically, just spin it all the way until the arrow is facing the bottom. And then again, head over here, spin this one. All the way as well and then for the third one you want to turn the little yellow tip until it's facing three o'clock so turn it to the right slightly just like i have on my screen here and then if you look off to the right side you'll see this little yellow bar and basically that yellow bar needs to meet the green line or else this won't work properly so again make sure you line the valves up just like i have them and that yellow bar should meet the green line and then from there you can pull the lever here and that's going to craft us up a battery right over here and we can pick that up, and we can bring that back the way we came. Go ahead and plug the battery in right here. And then make your way onto the lift, and you can press the red button, and that'll bring you up. Alright, and once you get to the top here, make your way to the other side, and pull the lever to open up the hatch. Alright, and next up we're going to do a little speedrun strat here to save a little bit of time. So once the hatch opens up, if you look down below on the left side, you'll see a platform, and that's where the next battery is. So we're going to try to land on that platform here, and we're basically going to use our hands as little suction cups. So try to do what I do here, grab onto the hatch, and then slowly make your way down. And if you end up falling, that's okay, I'll show you how to properly get the battery in just a few seconds here. But for now, try to suction cup your way down the wall and land on the platform here and we can get the first battery. So right here, grab the battery and then you need to carefully jump across to the platform. And again, this is a tricky jump. You can fall into the lava. So quickly jump down here to the middle platform. And once you land down here, you can place the battery into the machine over here. Alright, and next up we can head over towards the middle here and we can pick up this board and we're going to use that to clog the machine over on the right side. So grab the end of the board here and bring that over to the edge. Careful not to fall into the lava 
but you want to put the board in between these two machines here and if you do that correctly that will jam them and you'll see some steam come out of the pipes on the top left and right side and that's how you'll know you did it correctly and then from there we can pull that board back onto the little island here and next up we need to clog the other side for this one I like to grab the barrel here and basically we're gonna kind of run and jump and try to throw this in between the two uh, machines here and again it probably won't work but we're gonna push it anyways using the board so run jump try to throw the barrel in between the two machines there and if you fail just like me that's okay just pick up the little board and use that board to push the barrel into the middle of the two machines and that should jam it Alright, and once you jam those two machines, if you look off to the right side, we can now use these two lifts over here. So parkour your way across and use the lift on the right side to make your way up onto the platform above. Alright, and once you're up here on the platform, we can spin this valve here to 3 o'clock. And if you look up at the pipe here, that's basically like a little lift. And we're going to use that to shoot ourselves across and pick up the battery over on the platform there. So again, spin the valve to about 3 o'clock just like I do here. And if you look at the lift or the pipe, it should be facing towards that second battery. And once you have that set up, you can drop down and enter the pipe and that'll shoot you across to the platform. And you can pick the battery up. And if you failed the speedrun strategy from earlier, you may have to spin the valve a little bit more and jump over to the second platform and pick up that second battery. But if you followed along with the video, this should be your final battery. And once you grab that, you can drop down to the middle platform and place that into the machine right over here. Once you place the two batteries into the machine there, that'll raise the lava and bring you up to the top of the tower. And that'll be the end of the level, and you should now have your full completion in the tower level. So that's it. That's the guide for tower. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful. And please consider subscribing if you're new here for more guides just like this. And I will see you guys next time. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chan Span G1, Tim G84, Fazo Prime Pirate, Monarch Reptar, and Stacy Mackey. Last but not least, shout out to my legend supporter, Niku Noni Oi. If you guys would like to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash cheetahsguides.